But with people now having to card up, business owners have to worry about a new scam involving those fake vaccine cards. KSHB 41 News reporter Andres Gutierrez shows why it could be difficult to spot the real thing. At first, those four by three cards were only meant to be a reminder of your next COVID-19 dose. Now, as some businesses are requiring proof of vaccination, they're the only way to prove that you've truly been vaccinated. And so those businesses are left to rely on the honor system. There's not really a great way to tell because it can be photocopied and, and faked. Uh, but I mean, we're hoping that people who are anti-vaxxers will not go so far as to try to fake it. As soon as the vaccine rolled out, scams involving vaccination cards popped up. Brian Linder, a threat prevention expert in the cyber world, says negative COVID tests and vaccine cards are blowing up on the dark web. In the dark web, 25 bucks gets you a negative COVID-19 test and 200 bucks gets you a CDC, what looks like an authentic CDC vaccine card. Last month, a 41-year-old California woman became the first to face federal charges for false falsifying vaccine cards. The use of a government agency seal and the unauthorized use of a government agency seal is illegal and it is punishable by a hefty fine and or up to five years in prison. Currently, there is no federal system to authenticate the vaccination cards, making it easy for counterfeiters. While Kansas and Missouri do keep immunization registries, access is limited. And the idea of vaccine passports in our area isn't likely after Missouri's governor signed a bill prohibiting them and Governor Laura Kelly in Kansas has said she has no plans to issue them. People who spot bogus vaccine cards in person or online are encouraged to report it to the Office of the Inspector General of the Department of Health and Human Services or file a complaint with the FBI. If you are misrepresenting yourself as being vaccinated and you're going into gyms, schools, houses of worship, other places, you're not only putting yourself at risk, but you are putting others at risk. In Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, KSHB 41 News.